Well, should we tell them the plans? Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to the video. If you're new here, welcome. Just doing kind of a quick little update video. Some plans have changed or are getting delayed. As some of you know, if you've seen my uh, last last video or last couple of videos, I uh, kind of decided that I'm going to be making a mold of the hood that I custom made. Check out those videos as well. Um, but I'm going to be making a master mold of this. That way I can make uh, fiberglass versions of it. And I might be doing the same with the fenders since I have experience making molds and stuff like that so with that being said the uh, the paint job probably gonna wait a little bit on that I might do uh, like the rest of the car and stuff like that I'm just doing it black and then I can wrap the car later and change things up if I want and since I'm doing all that I mean the battery in this thing is also dead I took the battery out of my truck to put in here that battery was also old and died so and I've never liked these intake manifolds that cross over and then go down here I just think they're kind of ugly so I really want to switch and do the front facing intake manifold either get a good deal on a GT intake or just get that like the eBay deep motor ones or like the log style ones you can have someone uh, weld it to the lower runners of this manifold and there starts the rabbit hole this is a really good idea like since I'm doing this I should do this you know how it goes you know since I'm getting the car ready for paint I really would like to paint the bay bunch of scratches and stuff like that I mean I added some like hardware and stuff like that to make it look a little better but I figured I could pull the engine out and then delete a bunch of stuff on there the AC I'm gonna be deleting because I never use AC anyways In Wisconsin here doesn't get super hot but then I could really go through and clean up all the wiring and stuff more than I already have and also the transmission that's in here, the W55, uh, I mean, it works fine for regular driving, but I, uh, I don't want to push it, especially, you know, with the turbo on here, even though it's only, you know, 7 PSI, still, I don't really trust it. So I figured, pull the engine out, do all that, the transmission, I'll sell while it's still not blown up. <laughs> Someone else that has a stock car or whatever that wants to manual swap it, they can do that. A buddy of mine has a, a W58. Maybe I can talk him into selling that to me. If not, there's other options like CD09, stuff like that. But definitely want to get something a little stronger if I'm going to be uh, drifting and beating this thing. And if you check out my other videos, you'll see the uh, cover that I custom painted, the blue pearls. I never did the uh, the valve covers. I never painted them or anything like that. So when I have this intake off, I'll take the valve covers off, the cover, and I'll probably repaint them all together. Kind of like the same color, maybe a little different. But I like to get the color to match this like hardware kind of like that anodized blue and also while I'm switching up the intake and everything got the ECU box and everything I don't know if it's tweak performance or I can't remember there's a couple companies that make like a an extension harness and then I'm gonna go standalone that way you can put the ECU in the 
the glove box, clear up some space under the hood. And also in one of the groups, there's a couple guys selling GTE pistons and rods. Maybe I can get a good deal on that and swap those out while the engine's out. One of the previous owners did contact me and say that they did put non-VBTI rods and pistons, <clears throat> excuse me, and pistons in this engine a while back, but you know everybody says that I can't really verify it. And I'm not going to trust it and push it. So when I take the engine out, if it's got all that in there, cool. That'll save me a little bit of money. I'll just do new bearings and stuff like that. I'm also going to do like the GTE head gasket, ARP head studs, you know, the basic stuff. Because once I go with standalone, then I can do uh, higher PSI. You know, 15 to 20 PSI to start, I think would be plenty good enough for the street. So yeah, that's the plan for right now. Take that out. I already have an engine stand back under here. I just have to get the uh, cherry picker engine hoist to get the engine stuff out. I think a buddy of mine has one that I can borrow. If not, I'll try to get one of those. But yeah, it would be really nice to get the bay all freshly painted, the engine painted. Everything looking nice. Go back in, paint the car, the custom hood, and the fenders. I think this thing could be one sweet ride. Boy, you've got a sweet ride there. Don't touch it. Well, thanks for tuning in. This is just a short one. Sorry, it wasn't nothing exciting. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button, share, leave a comment. Even if you don't got nothing to say, how about an emoji or something? That kind of helps the algorithms. Give me more motivation to film more stuff. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one.